Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. In today's video, I wanted to walk you through how I make a budget in eight simple steps. I'm going to be sharing with you in my budget planner the step-by-step -step process that I do in order to set up my budget for the month. The very first thing that I'll do is actually gather all of my bills and my paperwork. This is all of the mail that has come in throughout the course of the month. And I like to look through all of the mail to see if there's anything that I need to address during the month of February. So I usually open up my mail every single Sunday, but whatever is coming up for the next month, I do set it aside in a special folder in my mail system. But when I'm getting ready to do a new budget for a new month, the first thing that I'll do is gather up all of this paperwork so that I can look through everything and see if I need to add it to my budget. After I do that, then I am finally ready to open up my planner and flip to my budget section. I have added all top tabs to my planner in order to make it really easy to flip to different sections. And my budget planner is one that I created in order to have all of my finances together in one section of my planner. It is an undated planner and I do sell it in my Etsy shop. If you are interested, it will be linked in the description box. The second thing that I like to do is brainstorm everything that's coming up for the current month. I like to do this on a blank sheet of paper that I have within my budget planner. This is my brain dump section. This is where I'm going to add any goals that I have for the month. I will calculate any income that I am expecting this month. I will also calculate our cash sinking funds, how much I'm expecting to save in our short-term savings account, how much debt I am paying off for the month, and any other extra events that might be happening in this month. This is a way for me to brain dump, get everything out. That way I don't miss out on any events. I can add all of the bills or the paperwork that I just flipped through and I have everything listed out in one section of my planner and then I'm prepared to add everything to my actual budget. Now our income is variable, which means that we don't have an exact set amount that I know we're going to make for the month. I normally base our budget on a $9,000 monthly income. However, our income could fluctuate up or down. So after I complete my brain dump, the third thing that I'm going to do is add all of my monthly expenses to my calendar. In the past, I have kept this calendar very black and white and just added all of the dates and amounts just straight to the calendar. But lately, I have been wanting to decorate my spread. I feel like the more that I decorate, the more that I am actually interested in looking at my budget on a consistent basis. So this month I'm using some Erin Condren stickers just to decorate this spread. It's all about love in February and I just thought it was super cute. So I'm going to use every sticker on this sheet. My monthly calendar mainly serves as my hub, my overview to everything that is happening for the month. I like to add all of my goals at the bottom of the spread. I will also add all of my paydays, which are on Tuesdays and every other Fridays. And then I will add all of my expenses. I use colorful dots to add all of my personal expenses to the spread. And then I will highlight in another color, usually my business expenses. I have started setting up everything to be auto debited as much as possible from my bill account, but I do like to still do this process so that I can know how much money is supposed to be in my account at a certain point in time. Since I pay us every single Tuesday, I will usually color code the different colorful dots that I have based on the check that is assigned to pay those bills. So for this month, the first color code is red as I have the red colorful dots here. The second one is orange. Then we have blue and and then I don't have any for the fourth week. And this is mainly because with this paycheck, I am planning on doing extra payment, extra saving, and just investing. Now for this month, I don't really have any events set up. I know that this weekend is Valentine's Day. I did put this love sticker here, but I haven't talked to my husband yet to even figure out if we're going out. I don't believe that we are. I believe we're going to stay in and just do dinner at home. So that's why I don't have any additional expense for Valentine's Day. I also have on my sidebar a little section set up for next month, and that's just so I can brainstorm and put in here anything that's coming up 
in the next month that I may want to cover. So after you add all of your monthly expenses to your spread, the very next thing that you want to do is actually break them down. I like to break mine down by paycheck. So I will usually flip to the paycheck section. I will break down each week and actually write down all of the expenses that I am planning on paying for each particular week according to the income that I'm expecting for it that week. My paycheck budgets are broken down by the week and then I usually like to list everything out so that I can see the weekly breakdown and when I need to pay certain things. When I'm adding everything to my paycheck budgets, this is mainly me adding the overview to this section. Um, this is just so that I kind of have an overview of what I'm going to pay for the month. When it comes closer to the time where I actually need to do this paycheck budget, then I will look at this list. I may add additional events if I know I'm going out to dinner or something else is coming up, I will add that here here as well and this is where I'm keeping track of all of the expenses that are coming in and out of my bill account for the week after I fill out all of my paycheck budgets then I'm going to go back to my savings tracker and I'm going to add my long-term savings amount here so this is where I keep track of my emergency fund balance my emergency fund is in a money market account that is separate and apart from all of my other accounts the starting balance right now is ten thousand two hundred and three dollars and eight cents and I am going to keep track of all of the deposits and withdrawals within this section of my planner on the opposite side is where I'm going to keep track of my sinking funds. For my sinking funds, I have a short-term savings account, which I have about $3,300 currently in there. And I also have some cash sinking funds. For my cash sinking funds, I keep that money in envelopes. And I will probably do a separate video showing you how I stuff those envelopes. So if you're wondering what's the difference between my emergency account and my short-term savings account or my cash sinking funds, my emergency fund account is where I am keeping track of, of any money I want to have on hand in case either one of us lost our job or any source of income. This money will only be pulled out if we have an emergency situation where we have lost our job. But if we have anything else that happens, let's say it's a house repair or a car repair or a birthday or anything else, then we will pull from either our short-term savings account or our cash sinking fund. And the very last sheet that I am going to keep track of is our debt. We're currently paying off our credit card and so I do like to keep track of the credit card balance here and how much we are paying off for the month. And the current balance is $10,052.09. My goal is to finish paying this off within the next four months. And that's how I quickly set up my February budget. If you are new to budgeting and you are new to this process, this was a really quick and easy way to help you get started with simple steps. I hope that you will try these steps out and let me know how they work for you in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.